Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan and Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. Back into it and back at it. This is The Local Show. Thank you for tagging along. We appreciate you uh, spending time with us on the weekend tom and steve as we uh, crawl into fall can't we make this like the early spring edition it's the early uh, winter edition <laughs> feel better it's the early winter edition. i love winter uh, yeah yeah i know you do i'd rather be hit by a car and i was hit by a car <laughs> <laughs> Nothing day do we'll share that story yeah <laughs> some cross-country skiing this year that's what you yeah, got to get not into. happening not work, happening. Work those lungs out and no. keep the muscles loose. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Slide down the hill across from Gettys Federal Savings Loan. Can't yeah. do that anymore. Used to love that. They really, you know, wow. everybody ruined everything. I wish we had cell phones back then because my grandfather used to take me over there all the time. I mean, really, yeah. from seven, eight years old till I was probably... 10, 11 yeah. years I old. lived in Cicero. It took like a day to get there. At yeah, least it right. felt like it. But then you went down it twice and your and your life was yeah. changed. It was amazing. And, and, uh, and now that I think about it, my grandfather must have been the age I am now. He must have been about 59 years old when he was taking me up and down How that How awesome day. is that? And, and he, of course, he's a world, he was a World War II vet and everything, and he didn't care. Well, if there was an offense and they didn't ruin it and you went too far, you would slide right into the parking lot to get us federal savings and loan time. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you need a mortgage, Get it to get us if you want to park some money in a CD uh, because the market. Oh, yeah. Don't look. Uh, it's uh, scary. It, yeah. So guaranteed really good rates. Good people. Local. Get it to get us. Get us. Federal savings loan dot com. Tom. All right. New person on the show right now. Zaina Gervais. No relation to Ricky. No. OK. Uh, that'd be nice if you were, though. huh? That'd be a little extra coin. I mean, <laughs> it'd Gervais. be a fun uh, experience. I yeah. Think, right. Like. He'd be great to have at family parties oh, and sure. stuff like that. <laughs> She's the owner of Salmon River Sports sports shop uh and you're I, I noticed that the website is different than your name though it's salmonhotline.com right yeah. okay yeah so i went on that just to, to check that out I, I also i have a dj company for 40 something years and i've been up at that tail water like five times this season oh yeah so it's like i'm living there <laughs> and then i just found out i have a, a wedding reception on new year's eve there as well so hey tom I'm, water I'm you and kelly want to come over on new year's eve <laughs> no I, oh i, I can't work. say i didn't invite you uh, gotta work. <laughs> but now that i know you zayna then now i can stop by now i know if i need to use a bathroom or something I can well come she's, over. she's <laughs> well right on the river right yeah. in town oh yeah right on the river yeah nice. so how'd you get into the business that was my grandfather's so he started it in 1972 and then my dad got it when he passed away. And a few years ago, my dad was going to sell the business essentially. And I had a fancy job and the 401k and all the things you're supposed <laughs> yeah. to have. And I was like, wow, this is really boring. Were you in town with no, that fancy job or out of town? No, out of town, uh, uh, over in Wisconsin. So oh, golly, yeah. I uh, called my dad and I was like, hey, I'm going to like, you know, buy everything off of you and keep the store open. And he's no, like, oh, no. you have a really good job. Are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, well, I put my notice in and cashed in my 401k. <laughs> so like get on board because I'm already going. So. Oh, Lord. Yeah. How many years ago else. was that? Mm, four years ago. Do you have brothers and sisters? Do you share the workload? <laughs> They're no? all younger and they want nothing to do with this. Oh, They're, yeah, yeah, tech yeah. kids. Now, my girls, I have I have two girls, um, and and they didn't love fishing. <laughs> like, so uh, how, how, do you love fishing? I do really have a enthusiasm for it. Oh, I mean, I love fishing, but more than fishing, honestly, I love helping people catch fish. Because, like, obviously, this is a family business. Like, yeah. I'm third generation, which is a big deal. And I have people coming in that were my grandpa's customers when they were kids. Right. So now they're bringing their kids, and, like, I get to be a part of that, which is really cool. Because, I mean, like... Uh, Steve, you fish, right? Like, yes. Yeah. So, you know, like when you hook a salmon, yes. you get no, just he, like that. He doesn't know that feeling. Okay, yeah, trust it me. Breaks off. In, in theory, make it up. Make it up. Make it a smallie or a <laughs> yeah. walleye or yeah. a rock bass. Right, but well, like, you've heard stories from yeah, yeah, people that yeah. are better at fishing yes, than you yeah, that have caught better. salmon. Yeah. yeah so. Stop <laughs> encouraging her. That's better. It's a blast. Yeah. Absolutely. Like uh, it's so uh, fun, uh, and it's something people can get out and like share together. And I've taught people to fish. I had a friend that came from India a bunch of years ago, and he's like, "Yeah, sure." And I was like, "Steve, Steve, show me." And and I took him trout fishing over at Nine Mile. He got a fish. It was like his eyes lit up yes. he, it was like 
it was amazing and it was and it was fun. Well, yeah. They don't and, have and fish it, in India? No, well, they don't have you know, brown trout in Nine Mile. And he okay. never fished. And, and and he was in Chennai. I know the city he's from. And you know you would not eat fish out of that river. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> in, in India, so uh, the business right there in Pulaski, right on the river. So this time of year, the salmon are running. Oh, absolutely. This is prime time. Like Columbus weekend is the big, usually the the big weekend. So right now, I mean, we're in the thick of it. Right. Okay. So if someone wanted to learn to salmon fish, mm -hmm. they could walk in and go, help me. Okay, drop a few hundred bucks, get whatever you got to get, and you could send them out the door and say, here, give it a go. Yeah, and, absolutely. And you wouldn't treat them like subclass citizens. Like, you don't look at people and go, oh, you don't know what you're doing, and no, talk no, down no, no. to them, right? No, absolutely not. We... Everyone starts like it's an intimidating fishery to get it, out. It there. really is, yeah. So like I always want people to walk out more confident than when they came in. Like I've always operated under it's better to make a customer than a sale. Like oh, nice. I you know, you can push a lot of product that's not gonna work, but like I genuinely want people to catch fish. So right. like you come in, I'll help you get exactly what you need. And now you do catch a fish. Well, I mean not yeah. But like, hey, you know, come on! <laughs> He's enjoying this way too much. For, for those that do catch fish, yeah. you know, now they're coming back year yeah. after year. They're bringing sure. their friends. They're having a good time. You said so. Brad wandered in. Yes. To to your place, and yeah. you helped Brad right. the, the pole, the rod, the thing, you know, and, and the whole deal. And he was he was uh, he was all yeah. excited. Oh yeah. Um, nice. Uh, about do you have it. to have waiters? You don't have to, but I mean, it's preferable. It is, okay. It, it, yeah, there's just not a lot, too, not too many places to fish from yeah, shore, from so shore, it really yeah. opens up yeah. like I prefer waitresses. Go. So all, the, <laughs> <laughs> all of that uh, area behind the tailwater, yeah. you know, because like sometimes before a gig, I'll, I'll be walking around in my tux and we'll, we'll walk yeah, in. Yeah, you want waiters. You know. Tux and waiters? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> but we'll go down and watch the people fish because uh -huh. there's a lot of people, you know, fishing. And um, is that, their property you can't fish back there can you correct okay so there's only a couple places in the united states where you can privatize navigatable water and the salmon river happens to be one of them oh we don't need to get into the politics <laughs> of that but it is it is able or a place where yeah. like, there's a couple places own, up yeah. up by port ontario there's an unnamed person that uh, that right. uh, has some space that Correct. that's what she was talking yeah. about okay. uh and and apparently uh maybe I, there's a swatch of the tail water that's the same I, but i guess if you yeah. go there like if you you know go and stay there you yep. can go fish there right so yeah. people probably do that on an annual basis oh yeah it's yeah. it's a big draw like people come back yeah. year after year Right. So, uh, also, do you smoke the fish? Do you clean the fish or any of that? Or no, just sell there's it? cleaning stations that do a lot of stuff All like that. that. It's okay. my, like, I mean, I've got my dad hat on. So, it's my job to help people catch fish, which is why, like, so one of my customers came in a couple of weeks ago and he said, You know, uh, I call you dad. And I was like, What? And he's like, Yeah, to my wife, like, I call you dad. You helped me catch my first salmon. So, your dad and I was like, "That's hilarious." That so has got to make you feel great. It does. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I mean, you're respecting your dad, the legacy, oh. third generation in the business, uh -huh. and you've taken that, and and uh, that that's got to be exciting for you. All right. Yeah. Well, let, let's talk uh, more fish here. So, when the salmon uh, start to, you know. Stop. Spoken, <laughs> spoken like a true smart. fisherman, not uh, at all. Go ahead, Tom. Tell us more. A lot yeah. of my friends go out for steelhead. Mm -hmm. And now, do you help people catch steelhead as well? Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Salmon, steelhead, brown trout. What is a steelhead, Tom? It's just a large trout. <laughs> it's really it's a, not wrong. Not bad. Yeah. Not yeah, bad. No, no, no. How did it it's get so huge, large, Tom? I don't know. They eat in the in the lake. Look at that. Like that. Give him a prize. And then yeah. they start coming up. Yeah. yeah. And they're they're not all beat up like a salmon, right? No, no, no. The, the steelhead are actually sustaining life. The salmon, like, as soon as they hit the river, they've got a few weeks, and then they're all going to be dead. Yeah. So they're just at the end of their life cycle. The steelhead will actually hold out in the river all winter long. Yeah, so. it reminds me a lot of me after marriage. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just yes. <laughs> I'm just excited we didn't we didn't talk about Italy because she's a town, you're a town. Usually right. it drags us yeah. into this whole Sicilian thing, and we didn't have yes. to go there. And our time's almost up. That's very oh, exciting. <laughs> uh, so uh, salmonhotline.com. Salmonhotline.com. To get the info uh, right on the river. If someone wanted to call, are they going to have a chance getting through, or is it better for them just to walk in? Just walk in. Walk in right there in town, Excellent. right on the river, uh, Salmon River Sports. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Zaina. Thank you. And uh, maybe she could help people make bacala with the... Uh, uh, here, he can't help himself. Yeah, yes, I had yes, to throw in yes, some yes, more Italian yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. Heaven Longo is coming up next. Uh, oh, she's Italian, too. Uh, marketing <laughs> Development Manager, Contact Syracuse, right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR.